Crazy party in attending kind of peace 104.3. Doc, Chairman General, what do you think? That's in it. Once again, the opportunity now. Uncle Chris is so I'm meeting him for the first time. And oh, really? Meeting, yes, nice. Yeah, Tia Debra Kanache. We had an opportunity to experience it. And I brought in your I think I'd do justice with the, the topic for a very resounding literature review. Hmm. Can research in our young car. The methodology nunka wa pass it. College review ni very sound. Na what you be considering too on Chairman General and yeah. the outcomes of the negotiations now Kosono. Where we were and what got us here. Um we all know and we've seen it and we've experienced it. The global issue and the replications are in our on our local economy. The Bebo Finance Ministry so abaso. Like I think rightly said. And you will be an according to negotiations, sir. Uh, when you have better outcome, you go into negotiations and sometimes you come back by compounding your issues. And it will even make your case even worse. And see, what call now your creditors and your confidence in you? And who say, I'm part, you do your idea, yeah, then it's a positive sign. Ah, I was saying, yeah, 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 commend Because clearly, Senka, you're in trust in Ghana. And uh, Ghana and you be there. history will be there to guide the creditors to say, say, oh, by in China, oh, be negotiate, oh, be patch, oh, in quotes, you know. And nothing shows, I say, oh, the history to guide the other person, you know. But clearly, right from 2017, pre COVID antecedents are uh, outcomes, the economy and how the economy fed pre COVID. They were all parts of reasons why. Uh, and my creditors and so in your confidence in the current administration to say say my ebida and based on that history and record you chalked pre-covid then we will have the confidence in you to give you what you are asking for now we are not belaboring the point but to have over four billion dollars chalked off your debt uh, it's not a sign of bankruptcy but a sign of confidence in you i see your creditors still want to do business with you and in doing business with you and seeing Ghana as a place that you be to meet your investors and your investments, Abano, we need to support you. And part of the support is the debt now you're writing it off. And not just that, the other debt uh, suspension and also the amount of time, breathing space to postpone the beginning of the payment, which will span uh, for about 15 to 16 years. Now, we've had certain arguments. I see you could try a can in our 20s. 2026 to 2028 that's not the case it's starting ideally from 2026 but you have 15 to 16 year period i would be and those debts and even the interest rate on those ones now you are suspending um have been reduced into it's, it's a positive news for the economy it brings back the confidence in the economy the credit ratings ever cost through this fiscal phase for governments i will be to me the so and also back and the projects are yeah, starting here yeah, from bilateral loans in particular are a hearty nyami adum as the president rightly said they been an opportunity to restart or continue those projects to the benefit of the ghanaian people and the economy na nyanka e wasinka ye prepare ye hon eko tuya a ya suspende and then ya cancel it gives us some breathing space Essen Kasika, it wasn't Kayabu, no Dikutiaka, and then Akano, you're writing it off there. Then the plans we had, any your revenues are now you better accrue to be able to service those debts. You better find your opportunity to divert those monies into other areas. Government has a lot of things. Our government, eh? government is providing education, government is providing smart education, and there you see a tablet for students to learn to compete with their peers on the global stage. Government is undertaking massive infrastructural projects, road construction. And I'm winning this kind of Chairman General, I brought a study here. We couldn't see the future vis a vis the global recession. I ah, experience here. But the commitment to still do it you know, is very huge. Certain hospital projects are ah, store here. Now we can attest to it. Sella General Hospital, for example, is under construction. 
agenda 111 at various stages across the country government is doing them 1d1f and a host of other projects our government area and the promise of a better tomorrow international government has some space i will be to me amienda in the way around things to be able to see to the completion of an EMR government to give confidence once again back into the economy now investors in who say ghana is on the right path now your recovery after COVID is sound now the indicators are there to show uncle Kwesi is not too keen on the fact that we are not necessarily servicing our debt into now you who those indicators but the fact that yes i see a debt now indicators near positive you know shows that the program i do to form post-covid recovery programs i do to form no they are yielding dividends otherwise you who those outcomes into once are a yielded dividends now you who those outcomes now you know impact you know air reflecting no. then it gives confidence to creditors it gives confidence to the external community to still bring their investments and businesses into the country it has a replication effects on our currency now moving forward you'll be able to unlock some opportunities imf is kind of world bank and so facility be so by african development bank facility be so bad for smes now finance minister um i am committed to making sure said the private sector once again in here boosting and it needs to be revitalized into scabby i ever i the best support it small and medium scale enterprises they are coming on stream is help the individual businesses I work on my own to give space once again for government to operate and complete projects. Now, you're yeah, starting new ones if the need be. Now, once again, it will have effect on our forex. I see now that the confidence is back, we expect the forex to also respond positively and also help the business community. Now, we can foresee the short to medium term future. I say the currency is expected to stabilize the currency is expected to even do better against the major trading um currencies it helps businesses to plan it helps investors and importers to also plan and it helps with price stabilization say the concept of fear and panic are a bar into the system for people to increase the prices of their products and services no now this new fit i are chopping on would bring some confidence and stability and some relief to the business community in the sense that now you need say moving forward it just the positives and i yes petty this are be the cancellation the suspension and the inflows are they are all geared towards um helping the forex and the study to stabilize and even perform better against the major um trading currencies and see the finance ministry abaso and the new minister obviously some people started in as much as uh, some people might have their own reservations um honorable ken Furiata started the process mm, well, and well. the current finance minister and those technical people in the ministry you know, so uh, the president also played a very key role in the negotiations and your creditors you know, so for having the confidence in ghana and the current managers of the economy and the country are people that you can trust with your monies to the extent that you want to even write some off and renegotiate others. It unlocks endless possibilities to me, Chairman General. Mm-hmm. And it brings back the confidence and it gives government once again the space to be able to maneuver its way to continue the projects our government area to bring back the confidence. Now, the president rightly said during COVID, and now we are seeing where we're going. Now, at a point, I'm even a superpower like America and its leader in Donald Trump. It speaks to the desperation at the time. And see, it was necessary, the government decision, to protect lives and individuals. And knowing that even if the effects come, we are a capable country, are able to me attain your woes around positively some people have suffered some difficulties domestic uh, domestic debt restructuring has brought some inconvenience to certain people and some people are forced to swallow a bitter pill they are all for the benefit of the country now you did say senior and penny for can i'll call back time the nine no it's yaba in kumumba and see whatever government sought to do was not to kill us literally but of course for us to bed in share as we say 
na you bring back the economy back on track so at the end of the day you open up and you doing COVID. and i say ghanaians hundred thousand two hundred thousand every more just to protect the economy we can't bring back those lives and any part there you're winning them the same people you need to work for the country but if we're able to maintain and sustain lives and protect lives it's the same people that will come back as the working force to work and bring back the economy and the signs we are seeing the first quarter growth of 4.7 inflation coming down the heat especially in 2022 are now comparatively we are doing well now it all speaks to the positives and the signs that indeed the economy can recover but indeed say you lose lives and can you to me and recover those lives now it dovetails us into the next chapter